Our counterterrorism strategy has a few axes, and one of these axes is interrupting terrorist mobility, in trying to intercept them at the borders. So we try to collect with the support of the 194 member countries as much as information as possible, and then we try to convince the countries to use this information at their borders. Now, this uh, operation took place in Southeast Asia, which is one of our prioritized regions. We see lots of travel between the Middle East and Southeast Asia. We see lots of travel between Northern Africa and Southern Europe. We see travel to other parts of the world and we try to prioritize our actions. And in the CT strategy, we have a regional approach for Southeast Asia under the lead of a counterterrorism coordinator in that area to coordinate all our operations, all our activities in support of the member countries. Countries can help in different ways. Um, first, the countries need to give us the data. Secondly, countries need to access the data. But these operations are very much externally funded. So thanks to a funder such as Global Affairs Canada, we are financially able to help the countries, to give them the equipment, to train them and to do the operations. Uh, but it's a worldwide operation because the data that those 10 countries used are coming from all around the world. But it's a partnership between the donor on one hand and the countries on the other hand.